shapes. Trace your finger around each shape. Say the name of each shape. Circle, square, triangle, rectangle. Now let's trace around them with a color. What can you draw with these shapes? Make a drawing in the box below. So you need to use all four of these shapes. Now let's go work on our shape robot. Before we build our robot, we're going to practice drawing him in this box using all four of the shapes. You can do whichever of these robots you want, but I think I'm going to try and do this guy. So I see a square for his body. Right? And there's almost like a smaller square in there too. Yay, square! And then he's got a square head. and a triangle hat. Circles for eyes, right? And then he has circles here, circles here. And then he has circles down here. So we have the square. Check. We have circles. Check. We have triangles. Check. And we have rectangles here. Check. Now let's color him in. Ta-da, all done. All right, now let's try building our own robot. I'm gonna do this one first. So I'm gonna rip out this page. And first, I'm gonna color in all these shapes. As I was doing this, I realized that it would be helpful if I colored in my little model robot too so I could keep track of which pieces were which. And then I cut them all out. I decided I wanted to make a little background for my robot, so I went back to my texture rubbings from a couple weeks ago, and I thought, ooh, that green would make a nice grass. So I decided to cut it uh, to fit uh, the bottom half of my box. And then I glued it down. I looked through the rest of my texture rubbings, but I didn't see any that would make a good sky, so I decided to just color in my sky. It's a blue colored pencil. And then I glued down all the pieces. And you can remember that little reference dude that I colored in? I brought him back just so I could remember where to put all my pieces.
Don't forget to give your robot a name. All right, for this dude, I decided that I was gonna use uh, the shapes that were in there. I was actually gonna make my own shapes, again, out of those texture rubbings we took a couple weeks ago. You can do this on colored paper. You can use your texture rubbings. Uh, you can not do this at all if you would like. If this is too much for you, that's totally fine. I just thought if uh, the regular robot was a little bit easy for you, this is how you can take it to the next level.